it's Marie, and this is the gorgeous mood board that Kelly and I are using this week as our inspiration for the challenge. And I'm going to be creating a 12 by 12 layout using this base that I'm showing you here. I'm going to be taking this Nouveau Glimmer Paste in Moonstone, and I'm going to be using a Tim Holtz stencil to create a little bit of texture on the background for my layout. I'm just using some 12 by 12 white cardstock that I've sized down. I've backed that with some black cardstock and I am going to add a frame eventually to this layout. So I'll just quickly add some of this glimmer paste on here. I think my phone rang right about now, so there's a little bit of a break, <clears throat> but I am going to continue to add this on. This paste dries very, very quickly and it is beautiful. It's a really iridescent kind of tone and it's really pretty for a wintry kind of layout, which is what I'm creating today. So all of the products that I'm using for the die cuts and the papers and so on are from the My Mind's Eye Sugar Plum collection. And that collection has pretty much that color palette from that mood board that Kelly and I are using for inspiration this week. So that was perfect. And of course the collection is all Christmas themed, so that goes along with the mood board as well. So it was great to use this collection for this specific layout and challenge. Now what I wanted to do was I wanted to go in and use a little bit of mist here to create some splatters. And I'm going to use a little bit of the Sweet Mint uh, color shine. I'm going to use some Caribbean Sunset from Shimmers and I'm going to use some black color shine as well just to create a few little areas of those splatters and I wanted to use some black just to bring that black into the layout which is part of the the frame around the whole thing so that's what I'm doing right now I don't have anything down for gesso or anything primed on my paper because I'm not using a whole lot of mixed media now what I did was I just took a bunch of the little pieces of die cuts from the ephemera pack from the Sugar Plum collection and I'm just going to take those and lay them across horizontally in a line across the, the center of the layout and that's going to be kind of a, um, a way to create the focal point for my photographs. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, lay them, they're not going to be even, I'm going to just offset them a little bit just so that they look a little bit interesting uh, moving across the page horizontally and then I'm going to finish off that horizontal line with the two photos that I'm going to be using on this layout. The two photos I've printed in two inches by two inches in black and white and the photographs are both pictures of my kids several years ago when they were opening gifts on Christmas morning and I just really love these pictures. They really capture the essence of the excitement that they had that morning and some of the gifts that they opened. And that's what I'm journaling about here is just the memories that we have of really good Christmas mornings. And so I'm just gonna take a few of the die cuts from the collection and put them here and there. Now you can see that I added a little bit of string in that one tag. I added a brad in one of the other tags and then another tag I just put one of the chipboard stickers from the sugar plum collection that's kind of a glittery I almost I don't know it's hard to tell if it's gold in this collection or if it's silvery gold but it's just a really pretty um, glittery kind of accent so now what I'm going to do is take the plaid pattern paper that's in this collection and I've gutted it I'm going to use that as a frame now I'm going to put the base on there crooked and then I'm going to take my sewing machine and I'm going to sew a line all the way around the layout. And I don't know if you can see that very, very well here, but you'll be able to see it on the still shots at the end. Now I'm going to create a little cluster in the bottom right hand corner of the layout as well. So I'm going to take another one of the tags that has more of that glitter on it. And I'm going to put that down. I'm going to put it one of the brads from the collection in that hole of the tag first just to add a little more detail to the tag. And then I'm going to take a couple of die cuts from the collection and layer them over top of the tag just to create a little more dimension and more layering down in that cluster. The one little die cut that I'm going to use are these cute little candy canes, which the candy cane is also on the tag up above beside that little house. So just repeating that little, um, that candy cane, candy cane theme. And I've just popped those up on some pop dots to create a little more dimension on that in that cluster. And then I'm going to take one other little die cut from the ephemera pack that says Merry and Bright. 
and I'm going to stick that on top of the little candy canes there as well. So then what I'm going to do is I've actually, I take my um, typewriter off camera and I just do my journaling and then I will be sticking that journaling down in some strips beside the title area. So part of the title is going to be that word Christmas, which is a die cut from the die cut pack. And then I'm also going to use a chipboard word from the chipboard sheet that says joy as part of the title as well. Now I just wanted to take that glittery star and add that somewhere on the layout also. So I'm just kind of trying to find a home for that. And I believe I end up leaving that star on the, on the tag that has the candy cane on it. And just to add another little bit of a layer in that horizontal strip going across the middle of that layout. So that is going to be where that star stays. Um, other than that, I'm going to put those journaling strips down and I'm also going to add another little sticker off that um, shipboard sticker sheet. It's a little tree. I really like how that looks on the layout when I find a spot for it. I actually, that's one of my favorite things from this collection is that little chipboard sheet of stickers. It's, they're really, really cute and it's so shiny and glittery that they, they really do look very, very nice on the layout. And so I'm just going to stick a few little things down. I end up finishing off the layout with some um, little dots from the one of the little dot sheets. And that is going to be about it for the layout. So there's going to be a little transition here and you will see that I've added the journaling on there. I just moved the title a little bit. I'm just going to take one of those little stars from another one of the sticker sheets and stick that up top the tree. And that is going to be about it for my layout. So make sure you check out Kelly's uh, layout as well this week. I'll be sure to leave the link to her channel in the description below so you can see what she did with her layout with this gorgeous mood board that we're working with this week for the challenge. So make sure you go over to Scrap a Clock on Facebook and check out um, our uh, challenge there and uh, join us on Scrap Clock on Facebook. Thanks so much for joining us guys and have an amazing week. Bye-bye.